Hello everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. This is my last layout for the term and I'm super excited to try something new and do something a little bit um, bold. So I decided to start with these cut files from the Ink Road Stamps website and then I am watercoloring them with some Prima watercolors that I got from Christy for my birthday and it's the tropical color palette. And my phone's going to die here in a second, so you're not going to see me watercolor all of the die cuts, but you got to see some of it at least. So um, now I have them all done. You can see them there. They turned out perfectly, and they just look at how vibrant that color is. It just pops off that black background, so that's what I decided to go with. And then for my recycled element, um, because that was our challenge for this month is florals and recycled elements. So I am using a Fisker's butterfly stamp and the cover to this cardstock pack and I am just punching out all different colors of these butterflies and they match perfectly with the watercoloring that I did. So it's it's a great way to use something that might just go in the garbage. So um, I'm going to map my photo on those two papers, 6x6 six six papers that you see there. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking outside. Um, those papers are from Paige Evans. I believe it's the Pick Me Up collection. And I'm just going to map them real quick and then decide um, which way I want my photo to go on the layout before I continue with this. That was my dog Gambit. We call him Cujo because he barks like that at anybody who walks by our house. Even though he's the sweetest dog and would never hurt anybody, he sounds super vicious. So um, so I decided that I want my photo to go this in this orientation. So then I'm going to use some of the stamps from Ink Road and I am going to stamp them in embossing ink and then heat emboss them with some black zing. Is it zing or wow? I don't know, embossing powder. Because I wanted it to um, be kind of a subtle element behind it just to give a little bit of interest to the background. So, and you're going to see my head a bunch here as I wanted to make sure that I was stamping it down hard enough. And I'm going to make a mess. And then I have troubles with my um, heat gun, too, because it doesn't want to heat up very well. And I just tried out a few stamps, and then I'm going to put the photo back on and see how it looks. Um, I only did it in a few places that I thought might be covered up a little bit, so... And I'm liking how that is, so I'm going to take the photos or the flowers back off, and I am going to just do some more of the little stamps and just go all over the place, but just within where that floral frame kind of is. I didn't want it on the um, other parts of the paper. And the stamps I'm using are like two little flowers and a star. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what, when the embossing is done. But if you look close enough, you can tell. But it's not a very, um, like I said before, it's a very subtle element. And I just wanted something just to kind of add interest to the background. So most of it's covered up and it doesn't stand out very well because it is black on black. But I like the way it adds just a little something extra. And yeah, see how close I have to hold it? Like usually you don't have to hold it that close. So I don't know if something's wrong with my heat gun or if I just didn't let it heat up enough or what. But yeah, it was giving me lots of trouble. So then I'm just trying to figure out which way I had these going. And there.
And so now I'm just going to add the butterflies, kind of decide where I wanted them. I wasn't positive they were going to work out with this, but they actually end up being perfect. And I wanted to use that little card that says you're stronger than you think you are. Um, but it doesn't end up on the layout because I had set it off to the side and forgot about it. And then once I added um, the rest of my embellishments in the title, it just didn't fit very well. So I think now I'm going through my doily stash and I'm trying to find one. I just want a little peek of one um, kind of for somewhere for my title to rest on. And so I had this little cut off. Oh, excuse me. Little cut off piece that I'm going to stick over there. And then I am picking out my title, and then I'm going to pick out my sequence as well. Which I should have done all of this off screen, so I apologize. So I'm going to use the Galantine Valentine sequins because I really liked the kind of gray and then the teal color in it. Um, and I was going to add some of the red hearts, but I felt like it brought in too much. So I'm just going to title this Shine On, and these are the Vicky Booten um, thickers. And I got these from my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit for March. And just gluing my photo down. I'm having to use my Eileen's um, Turbo Tacky Glue, which is not my favorite. And then just kind of replacing these butterflies down, trying to mix up the colors a little bit. And so that's pretty much where they're going to end up being. And then I was having troubles, I couldn't find my zats. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my um, glossy accents to stick down the butterflies. And then I'm going to start putting the sequins around. And again, I use the zats blings um, for the sequins because it just saves so much time and trouble. So, yeah, I highly recommend using the little glue dots for this. But So, just so you know, you can always use my code DAISY15 to get 15% off in the shop. Um, Jody will be announcing the new design team May 1st, so you should head on over to Instagram and follow Spiegel Mom Scraps there, and also um, subscribe here on the YouTube channel. And then there's also the Facebook group, 15 Minutes of Scrap with Spiegel Mom Scraps, and you should join in there because you'll get to see all of the new releases and learn of any upcoming sales or events that she has going on. So you definitely want to do, don't want to miss out on any of the sparkly goodness. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. See you again next time. Bye. Bye.